Hi David, let's realistically view whether it is your best option. If you have enough equity and sufficient income to succeed with this extension to your business. First, you must determine any costs associated with your business, such as any extra labour, such as hiring, a glazier and materials for producing the glass. To further this, we'll need to understand all your costs that can be categorised, so we can have direct costs that are traceable to products, such as material and labour, and indirect costs, such as overheads that are not easily traceable, e.g. rent, depreciation or management. Alongside this, we have product costs that will be first recorded as an inventory, then it will be classified as cost of sales. This includes materials again and packaging of the doors. Then there is period costs that coincide with income and will be recorded as expense when in when it is incurred, such as selling and administration expenses. Moreover, fixed costs remain constant, even with changes in activity, such as factory rent, if you need to cater for new equipment. Variable costs vary in transformation um, in the transformation in the level of activity within production. These could include raw materials such as timber or new raw glass products used in production and, mis and mixed costs that have both fixed and variable elements such as utilities. These are all factors when determining to improve your business. You will also need to create a new relevant range when introducing the additional services to your business. This will need to take into account the increase of, in demand of these new doors, hiring more employees or longer working hours. This may change your current fixed and variable costs per unit. To further assist in the importance of profit planning and management decision, we must complete a cost volume profit analysis to view the effects of changes in costs and volume on profits. This will help with pricing product mix and maximising the use of facilities such as the specialised equipment for a glazier so you will be able to maximise your profit. In conjunction with this, to strive for the best profit that you would like, David, we can create a target profit, calculating it by the break-even formula, which can be changed to take into account the sales required of revenue to generate a target profit. With the formula of break-even, with target profit equals fixed cost plus target profit divided by contribution margin per unit. Contribution margin can be calculated as the difference between the selling price and variable costs. However, we must also include allocating overheads to products. Two methods can be used. Absorption costing, which sees all overhead costs such as fixed and variable are charged to cost centres and then to product services. This can be used by an allocation base that replicates the activity, for example, labour hours or numbers of units sold, but can lead to over or under costing. Also, activity-based costing uses cost pools to accumulate the cost of significant business processes or activities. That it, this is then assigned to the costs from the cost pools to products. It will be based on cost drivers which measure each product or service demand for activities. David, this is just an overall aspect that we covered today to give you a general idea about whether it is possible to add Glazier services to your entity. Hope this assists with your future endeavours.